Welcome back to Wolfenstein, the old blood. Let's get the hell out of these caves. By the way, these caves are really pretty. Everything from the stalactites to the dripping water. Just really like how it looks. Oh, you got to slide under, don't you? <laughs> That's cool. Let's see, can I slide back in this short distance? Yes! Ah, I don't want to accidentally blow up the thing on their back. Where's another commander? Oh, come on. There's so much loot here. How am I doing on helmets, by the way, as far as the uh, perk goes? Oh, I've got 96 out of 100. I'm almost there. I think I need to travel along that pipe. So eerie. I wonder when or if we're going to get to fight supernatural things. Do we not go on this? It really looks like we do. Oh, we climb up here. Just shoot the commander from here. That'd be very nice. There's somewhere up there. Oh, there's a mounted gun up there too.
You know, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm really close to the commander. I think I just blew myself up there. See if I can throw it over the edge. Yeah, get out of here. Blasquiz doesn't believe in weapons or violence. Climb up there. Wait, so where does this all lead? That I don't think that's a secret. And this leads to a different area than this. So what's this? Secret area. Oh, that leads back down. If it leads down here, then that's probably where he's supposed to go. Oh, is there no way back up there? I could probably just do this. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, rat buddy. I remember this area. I fell from right about there. No commanders? Okay, that was a bit too direct of an assault. Okay, let's do that more smart. What's 
think she rocked. Extra cautious it is. One hit to the tank kills him. I keep trying to sometimes play this game as if it's... Doom? Whoa. Oh, I forgot about those things. I sometimes try to play this game as if it's Doom. I think, okay, if I just run real fast and I'm just always moving, I'll be fine. But it's not that sort of game. I mean, it... I guess it's a cover shooter? Like, it usually is your best bet, really, to take cover. Take cover, pop out, shoot a single enemy. Running out into the room is just certain death, at least on this difficulty. You might be able to get away with that on a lower difficulty, but... Strategically, it's not the best thing to do regardless, and on this difficulty, you really can't do it very often without dying. Oh, a small little detail. Small little. That's something I say a lot, small little detail. Small little something. Small or little. Both is just repetitive. Anyway, pretty cool detail that I noticed. Normally when you dual wield something like this, it makes you sprint or even just walk much slower. Here's walking speed. Uh, I think the walking speed's a little bit faster with a single weapon, but, but certainly when it comes to sprinting, the dual wield is very slow. With the assault rifles, with the shock hammers, However, it's not the case for the handguns. So it's not everything that you do wield, it's only the things that are fairly heavy. Handguns obviously don't weigh very much, so you sprint pretty fast. I like that they did that. Think fast, BJ. Yeah, let's not get squished. picked up another helmet. Okay, cool, so now I can overcharge armor, which is going to be super nice, actually, because there's all sorts of armor that I just leave sitting there, helmets included, that I just can't pick up. Um, increases maximum armor points by 25. Overcharge your armor to reach 200. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. I don't know, I still haven't been able to get this one, or overcharge your health to 250. I've never gotten that. Grenades really just do, like, nothing. Ooh, overcharge to 160! Oh yeah, that's gonna be easy. There's a lot more armor than health, I think. Ooh. 
That's a big arena. Oh yeah, some stuff's gonna go down here. Oh wait, is this, is this where we came into the place? We parked here, didn't we? Yeah. Yep. I blew all that up with just one hit. What did I just unlock? Increases the bomb chest clip size by five. Kills using the bomb chest. Okay, so that's a sniper rifle. Nice. Oh, it's pretty huge, actually. I could only hold five shots before, so it actually doubled my magazine size. Is that gonna blow up? Whoa! It's on burst fire. Wow, that was terrible aim on my part. Interesting, so I'd never tried burst fire before, and I didn't even mean to try it here, I just somehow accidentally enabled it. But it actually fires faster. Overall, like DPS wise, it might fire slower or about the same speed, I'm not sure, but in terms of the amount of shots you can get in this time, that is definitely faster than. But still, the total, like, throughput of it, I don't feel like it's any better, I still prefer this. Something kind of strange about these vehicles. They seem busy. There's a lot on them. Tons of just things on the outside of them. Also, they're strangely shiny. Very glossy. Oh, that is them blown up. That's their blown up state. Two grenades, three shots of this. Okay. Like, here's a whole hell of a lot of armor. Oh, 
Whoa, what's that? Okay, glad I had that weapon right then and there. There's someone up there, I just close their shutters. Jesus, how hot is that thing? Hey, Kitty Man! Haben Sie ein paar Münzen? Sure. There we go. Nimm dich vor den Wölfen in Acht, guter Herr. Güte. I don't understand. Hä? Hörst du nicht das Schnappen ihrer Kiefer? Hä? Die Wölfe werden uns alle fressen, wenn wir nichts tun. Ja. That's the tavern. That's where I gotta be. Do not sit and sing in the moonshine. Ich bringe sie zu Herrn Kessler. What's your name? Annette. What is yours? William J. Blaskowitz, U.S. military. Do people call you that? Father used to call me Billy Boy. Billy Boy, Billy Boy, Billy Boy. Seltsamer Name für einen erwachsenen Mann. <laughs> Some people just call me BJ. I like it better. You look like a BJ. Thanks. I suppose. <laughs> Let me check upstairs first. Wait, I can. Herr Kessler is inside, Mr. BJ. I can go to sleep. And there's <laughs> there's an old Wolfenstein 3D poster, just like there was above the bed that gives you a quote-unquote nightmare that takes you into the world of Wolfenstein 3D in the New Order. He's expecting you. This doesn't say nightmare, though. I don't know if that's going to do the same thing or what. Note from Annette. Day one asked Herr Kessler if I could spy for him. He said yes. I'll write down my observations here. Day 9, this is boring, nothing ever happens. I think too much and get sad. 
day 15. Many Nazis patrolling past the tavern. One of them looked up, but I don't think he saw me. Miss you. Day 16, group of Nazis and that Nazi woman Helga came by. They're going somewhere, preparing vehicles. Day 17, Helga left town with an army. Where? Day 18, big man from the castle came by with dog. Looks scary. Day 21, Herr Kessler told me to stop with my spying. Too dangerous, he said. People could see. Day 61, ooh, big gap here. Herr Kessler told me, Allied agents are coming, need to make preparations. Back to spying. Day 63, managed to steal sleeping pills from the apothecary. Got chased by a Nazi. My heart is racing. Day 64, two Nazis drinking in the bar, put the ground up sleeping pills in their beer. They passed out in the alley. We dragged them inside and took their clothes. Kessler told me to go up and fold the clothes and put them in a box. Day 66, went out through the underground lake and into the woods. Put the box with the clothes in the car hidden in the clearing, just like Herr Kessler told me. So good to feel the sunshine again. Day 69, nice. Explosions from the castle. Agents? Scared, but excited too. Maybe I will see you again. Alright, let's see what this does. <laughs> okay, is this the same quote-unquote nightmare as before? No, this is different. Do I actually want to play through this, though? I... I mean, I'm playing through it. Should I keep playing? I guess. This level design is so weird. Why am I inside just a nondescript, repetitive castle with nuclear waste? Oh, these have wide collision. Can't go in between them. I have no idea where I should be heading. Everything looks the same. These, like, mini-bosses? Ooh, that's gotta be an important door. Oh, it's locked. Huh. I guess there's a key somewhere else. Aha! Wow, that is a big- <laughs> that is a hilariously big key. Yeah, that was like a million miles away. That was very, very far away. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know how Wolfenstein 3D works as far as finishing levels. I mean, are there bosses? Like real bosses? Or, or how does it work? <laughs> There's elevators in this castle? There's nuclear waste and elevators. Oh, got an achievement. Escape! Nightmare. Uh, yeah, it doesn't show up on the recording. But, got an achievement for it. Ladies first. Annette, Peters. Das ist Herr BJ, Herr Kessler. Er wusste das Passwort. BJ? William J. Blaskowitz, U.S. Military. Yes, I recognize your voice. Where's your friend? In Abraham's bosom. Dead? Annette, mein Kind überprüft die Fenster und versteckt dich dann unten in der Höhle. Ja, Herr Kessler. Oh, we're definitely gonna fight here, because there's tons of equipment in here. The 
They're probably going to storm the place, right? Somewhere, for some reason, nobody's doing anything anymore. Oh, I got up to 300 health! Whoa! Increases health regeneration by 5 health points. Nice! Um, if I kill 5 enemies in a row, wall overcharged. Increases maximum health by 25. That should be super easy, if I'm not mistaken. I'm overcharged all the time. I have 400 health! Oh my god. I feel like I maybe shouldn't be taking all of this right now. I don't know what just happened, but it wasn't good. Oh shit. Must get her downstairs. Yeah, uh, basement hatch? Okay. Take care of the Nazi pigs, Agent Blaskovich. Kill them all! No problem. Yep, storm in the place. Knew it. Lock this door. Don't open it until I say it's safe. There's my health upgrade. Hammer clip plus, nice. Okay. Nazis are all dead. You can Americans! Never mind. <laughs> oh. I definitely Definitely should not have taken all the health in here and overcharged to that ridiculous degree. I definitely should have left some of it for the boss fight. Piece by piece. Oh, I don't see any 
Hmm. There's no shocky parts left. Do I just shoot them in vulnerable parts now? It's gonna blow. Are you okay, Blaskovich? I'm fine. I'm sorry about your friend. Thanks. What was his name? Wesley. What about the girl? She's coming with us. I mean, what's her story? Rescued from a deportation convoy heading out of Wolfburg. Family is gone. I'm all she has. Photos. Letters. What remains of her family? Should take them with me. Oh, this is a lot to read. Lord Dump? Berlin, September 1937, my love. Cold wind is blowing outside, rattling the windows. As I sit here writing this letter, I'm wondering what you're doing. Are you getting the story you were after? I know you found it arduous working as a journalist under the regime. If you feel your only option left is to leave the country, I will follow you wherever you go. Maybe England? Don't you have some friends there? Yes, I miss you too. To say I do not lie awake at night would belie the extent of my longing for you. Sometimes I wake up blushing from the feverish dreams I have about you. I'm blushing now as I write this, thinking about it. I wish I could have you here right now. I wish I could touch you, feel your warmth against me. It's much colder here in Berlin than it ought to be when September comes to an end. The city is changing. Every day I hear the trampling of their boots outside my window. To think such a small man could be the cause of such big problems. I fear for what has become of our country. Anna and I went to the cinema last night. After the film was over and we were walking home, a group of... Jugend? Jugend boys followed us through the streets. One of them had read my column in the paper and decided he not, did not like it or me very much. They hounded us, shouting things. Ugly things. But they could not intimidate us, no matter how they tried. We will not allow them to intimidate us. Don't worry, love. My friends are taking care of me. There are always people around me. People I can trust. Can't wait for you to come home. All my love, Sophie. Drug prescription for Herr Ludwig uh, Kessler. Barbital for depression. Take as directed... Note from Kessler, must never forget what you said, Sophie. Question authority. Stand up for the rights of your fellow human beings. Fight for their equal worth. Be kind. And this, they murdered you for. I will finish what you started, my love. Can I ever feel that young Annette will be safe? Maybe not. She tells me she wants to find her friend in Wolfburg. I will have to let her go at some point. Article, three anarchists hanged for treason. One of them must be Sophie, right? Berlin, April 4th, 1940. Three anarchists, one woman and two men, all identified as students and members of a local terrorist group, were executed by hanging yesterday. All of the executed were sentenced to death for high treason after having spread dangerous anarchistic propaganda flyers against the Fuhrer in public squares across Berlin. Poisonous ideas are spreading within certain cliques in the student community, which is a danger to both our nation and the men risking their lives for us on the front every day, said Prosecutor Ernst Dietrich when speaking to the crowd gathered to witness the execution. This kind of behavior must be met with the harshest and swiftest of punishments. Fuckers. Flyer. Rise, German students. 
fellow students of Germany, our great nation has been hijacked by brutes, antagonistic to the free-thinking spirit of German students. The educational system is being systematically corrupted from within by the moral elite appointed to student leaders and by the party. <laughs> it is nothing short of a disgrace. And yet, when the time comes to rise up and speak out against this, the silence is deafening. Can it be so that we, the German people, deserve nothing more than we get? Germany has been in the clutches of many tyrants before, but this time we have collectively jumped into the mouth of the most monstrous yet. I know for a fact many of you agree with this sentiment, and I know for a fact that many of you are scared to speak up. But if you do not, make no mistake, they will eventually come for you. They will come for the German youth. When the time comes, Hitler will send our brothers and our sons into war, and he will let their blood be spilt on foreign soil, and there will be nothing we can do about it. Will we let this party of fascists lead us into certain catastrophe, or will we change the course of this nation towards a future free from tyranny? The choice is in your hands. German youth, rise up. Defend the name of our nation. Do not let it slip into infamy. Stand up against the fascists of our regime for a new and free Europe, free from the burdening shackles of Adolf Hitler's ideological education. For a Europe where everyone can live as equals, rise up now, for soon it may be too late. Sophie Kessler, student of philosophy, Berlin University. Mir geht's gut. Get in, Agent Blaskovich. We should be on our way. 